let's talk Kyle Shanahan. Again, I'm not going to go really hard on Kyle Shanahan. He, he, he was in a bad position. But look, look, I, I, I grade Nick Mullins on a, on a curve, okay? He's an undrafted guy, a backup quarterback, making $750,000 a year. They're not exactly paying him to make plays. That's not the expectation for Nick Mullins. Kyle is supposed to be the best. He's making tens of millions of dollars a year or 10, and he's really good. I'm not saying he's not. We've seen him. He wasn't good tonight. Look, good Kyle Shanahan has great game plans and great adjustments. He has a million ways to work around the uh, limitations of his quarterback. You get the jet sweeps, the shovel passes, the screens. They're established right away, not to mention a run game. When Kyle Shanahan is on, he's locked in and almost can't miss, no matter who's on the field. When he's off, he seems disengaged. And I'll tell you what I mean. It's like, we can't, oh, the NFL isn't going to let us have our, our wide receivers over some technicality. And I have to play River Craycraft and Kevin White and Trent Taylor. Fine, then I'm going to start them all. Forget it. You know what I mean? It's almost like a kid who's like sulking. It's like, man, this is what I got to do? Fine, I'll do it. River, you're starting. It's like, no, Kyle, why would you do that? Three straight passes to start the game. River Craycraft on the field to start. It's like, you're not really taking this seriously, man. You're like, all right, well, the NFL screwed me. I don't have anything I can do. I'm just going to lose. So nothing creative in the run game. No screen pass until it was 31-3 to with like a minute left in the third quarter. You, you, you changed three of five starters on your offensive line on a short week. Now, there's nothing you can do about Trent Williams, but benching Grasso, moving Brunskill's position and elevating someone else, how is that going to work out? Offensive line is all about continuity. The more they play together, the better they play. Peronis Gross has only been on the, on the field for a few games. You take him out because he was struggling to pick up Bobby Wagner last week, and you bring in Daniel Brunskill. How'd that work out? Was that an improvement, Kyle? Again, I have respect for Kyle. The reason I'm saying this is because I think he's great. And that was not great. We've seen great Kyle. Great Kyle was what he did against the Rams. I mean, Jimmy Garoppolo had 46 air yards in that game. He was just shoveling the ball to Debo Samuel and Brandon Ayuk, and it worked. Richie James Jr. can do that. Every time Richie James Jr. gets a screen, it's a 20-yard gain at least. So where was it? I get the feeling with Kyle that when he has Jimmy Garoppolo, there's a lot of pressure on Kyle Shanahan to win. From internally, externally, the, the you know himself, the owner, you got to freaking win when Jimmy Garoppolo's on the field. And Kyle really has great game plans for Jimmy Garoppolo. He establishes the run. He makes life so freaking easy for Jimmy. But when Jimmy's out, I kind of look at it as like Kyle's like, well, I don't have to win. I mean, I got a million excuses. I don't got my left tackle. I don't have my wide receivers. I don't have my quarterback. Forget it. Like, let's just call it however, you know? Why work really hard this week? You know? It's like, should I do my homework or just show up to class and wing it? Should I study for this test or should I just show up and see what I can do? I'm really smart. That's the way I look at it. It's like when you have Jimmy Garoppolo and you, he's going to study. It's like, I, I'm not going to blow this. I'm going to be blamed if we stink with Jimmy Garoppolo on the field. But if Nick Mullins is out there, it's like, all right, I got 8,000 excuses. I'm not studying this week. I'm not going to have my best game plan. And when we lose, I'll just blame Nick or Justin School. So, again, I'm not crushing Kyle Shanahan. I'm just saying, Kyle, you're better than that. You're better than that. You called five passes for River Craycraft and three for Ross Dwelly. You're better than that. You're way better than that. You lose your top three wide receivers and you come out first play of the game in the three wide receiver four nation. You're better than that, Kyle. That's not your identity. You would think. When Kyle Shanahan loses all of his wide receivers, he comes out first play of the game in like a two tight end formation. Two tight ends, two running backs. Use check wasn't even on the field. You're better than that, Kyle. To me, that's lazy, Kyle. When I see first play of the game, uh, Nick Mullins in the shotgun, no Kyle use check on the field, River Craycraft, Trent Taylor, and, Ky and Kevin White on the field, it's lazy. That's, that's capitulation. 
Like, ah, whatever. It'll work or it won't. If it doesn't, we're going to blame Nick Mullins. Not my fault. Not expected to win with my backups on the field. So I'm just going through the motions. And I'm going to sing as I lose by 25 or maybe just 17. But it feels like 28. You're better than that, Kyle. I'm texting you during the game. Not texting you, but tweeting. At Kyle Shanahan. I know that's yours. I know you use that. Don't act like you're not peeking at your phone mid-game. I was giving you the instructions. Do better. Kyle. And again, it's because I respect him. Work as hard for Nick Mullins as you work for Jimmy Garoppolo. You never see Kyle Shanahan come out with Nick with Jimmy Garoppolo and call three straight passes to start a game. Mullins' last two starts is how he starts it. Why? Because Mullins is better? Because Mullins has so many more weapons? Because Debo's out there and Kittle and Ayuk? No. No. 